During the 1980s, execution by electrocution was the sole method of carrying out a death sentence. In 1990, the Louisiana State Penitentiary at Angola switched to lethal injection, retiring the electric chair. This new law allows for three different execution methods, electrocution, lethal injection, or nitrogen hypoxia, which was used for the first time in January in Alabama. Many states that permit the death penalty had long relied on lethal injection as the court-approved method. Due to legal battles and publicity concerns limiting access to the drugs involved, states are exploring other options. They don't want their medicines to be used to kill people. They want their medicines to be used to help people. And so death penalty opponents cite the high cost of a capital case as a reason to avoid it. It costs millions of dollars for each person on death row. Trials are long and complicated. Appeals are even more so. We saw this in the Angola 5 prosecution where the state spent something like $8 million for each death sentence in a case where there was only two death sentences out of the five. Those who support the law agree with Landry. It's well past time to uphold the state's obligation to the families of the victims. You just think about the amount of pain that it would take to go back and to reenact and to talk about um, those that they loved. It just, to me, it gives you the resolve of the justice that they deserve. Ascension Parish District Attorney Ricky Babin said he doesn't think other attorneys will seek the death penalty more often now that there are more options. Instead, they will push to complete the process for the ones they already sentenced. Louisiana has 58 people on death row. I think you will see a lot of district attorneys, including myself, pushing those and seeking death warrants on the ones that they have. It was Daniel McLean reporting that new law takes effect July in July.